another All Media Services video. Today we're going to do a little different twist on things. We're going to take our Starlink and we're going to push the limits of Starlink by throwing in an M2 Ubiquiti booster. Now, I've lost the box for my M2 booster. This is an M5. The difference is the M5 is, works on the 5 gigahertz network, which typically is a shorter network. You can't throw a signal as far. With the M2, that's on a 2.4 network. It has a longer range, so this actually works really good for this video. So what we've done, we'll go outside. Well, first we'll go turn up our booster. Then we're going to go outside. We're going to show you where the booster's placed. Then we're going to go take a walk through the neighborhood, and we're going to see how far out we can get the Starlink signal. So this would be great if you're on a farm or on an acreage, and you're always out in the field working, and you want to push that signal out so that you're not having to use your LTE network, or perhaps you don't even have really good reception on your LTE network, and you just want to push your Wi-Fi so that you can get your emails and your texts and your different things, even your phone calls with Wi-Fi phone calling. So let's go take this first spin and see how well we do. All right, let's take a look at this little Ubiquiti M2 and let's crank it up. Output power, boop, 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 boop. 23 decibels, okay? We're gonna hit change on that. There we go. We're set, we're at the 23 decibel value. I'll just click over here on our main. You can see down below here, we've already got a little bit of uh, receiving and transmitting happening because we have a couple cameras online remotely right now, a couple easy viz cameras. So you watch that play through. So we're gonna go for a walk and uh, let's just see. Now, one of the things is, is we're in a neighborhood, so there's a lot of homes, it's not an open field. So it's gonna be a little bit of a real testing for the system. So there's our Ubiquiti 2.4 booster. We're gonna be heading out that way. Uh, we're gonna see how many houses out we can get. We'll do a test standing from right in front of it here. Um, Starlink, it lights up right away. Obviously distance is uh, gonna be the factor that's gonna determine our signal. So standing right about here, we're at 62. So pretty good, pretty decent for outside of the home, outside of multiple walls already away from our router we're already getting that pushed out we ended up with 67 for a speed so as we go through the neighborhood we're going to be going through through houses um, multiple houses all the way out to another laneway way out over there now one thing that I could do if if I was doing this more like I'm not honestly trying to get internet out there it's not really my goal to supply internet for the neighborhood but if I was I would actually take that and move it up top to the roof, get a bit more height, maybe go put it on a little pole or an antenna somewhere kind of thing. And that would help get a little more distance. I'm using this also as just a Wi-Fi um, signal pusher. I could use it as a link. So I could set up another link on another house and that would give it very strong signal out that way. And then I could even take that link, reverse it around and then push Wi-Fi out. So there's a multitude of options that you can do with these links. But essentially, we're going to test this Starlink and see what kind of signals we're going to be getting and how far out we can actually get. <laughs> right, so we're not too far away. Uh, this is my fence. My tree growing on the other side of the fence. So very, very close. Uh, the cameras are sitting up in the corner that are on there already. I'm just going to run a speed test and see. The 2.4 network is not as fast as the 5G, so I'm not expecting to get the greatest speeds out here. Um, but it's still, we're long ways from the house, a couple walls, a fence, not much for brush. I just got a test here right now, Starlink 53.9, standing in the back alley, uh, probably about 100 feet away with a few walls, and we got about a 12 upload is what it's looking looks like it's having a little harder time on the upload kind of freezing up it ended up with 11.8 so pretty good let's go for another jump okay so that's my neighbor's house there uh we're actually sunk down a little bit and we're across the street so we're now gonna i'm gonna say about 300 feet away i've got it on the starlink network it found the network no problem so I'm going to connect up. We've seen our previous one. We were at about a 54. Oop, I can start to see definitely a little bit of delay there. Um, but here we go. Speed test is underway. Now, because you've got the house, the building in between, 
Um, if this was on a, a farm or an acreage, I'd boost that antenna up to try to get over top of the house a bit, or even put a link on that house and then bring it over this way. So, yeah, we kind of fell a little bit short here. We're at a 1.37 and it looks like our upload's not even showing up. So let's just go jump across the street and just see. There is a very big difference here because of the, um, because of the house. So actually I'm gonna go over to this back alley here for a second. It definitely linked up on the network, but I'm just gonna try to find a little bit of an opening here and hit the go here now. Let's just see. So obviously raising that antenna would help quite a bit. Yeah, so here we go. Now I'm at a about a four or so. But you gotta remember, I'm probably about 200 feet away with a number of walls now because of the houses and because of the stuff I'm trying to get in between. Looks like our final test ended up about seven megs download and it's like about five megs upload, so pretty good. So if I was out around the house in the garden doing some different things, this would be great. This is long distance. Remove a house away from here and I'm sure I could get across another lane still yet. Yeah. But just for fun, let's go try it out. Alright, so we are now in the back alley of two neighbors back. So we're now looking at about five, nah, 400 feet, let's say, roughly about 400 feet. And I, I can actually see the network when I scan it. I run the test, um, it comes back, it says SpaceX Starlink, but it's you're certainly having a hard time. Now, you did see earlier that that Ubiquiti router is quite low to the ground. Um, it's very low on my house, I just set it that way just for ease of use. I could actually go up and put it on that tower and that would definitely help me to get out here. But it's pretty good that I can even get internet signal about 400 feet away from my house through two sets of houses that kind of go up and down a little bit with our landscape as well too. So I got 0.29 for signal. So you wouldn't really do a whole lot, but you know what, you would get a text message or something probably show up on here or a notification from your security. So if you had farm um, like cameras that would maybe send a notification, you probably would show up on your phone. But it's definitely lagging. But there's a few things you could do to fix that, no problem. So I think this is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. If you've been enjoying these videos, then head to our website where you'll get so much more by clicking on the link below. We have the links you need for signing up for your own Starlink, our latest speed tests, as well as our sign up form, installation tips, and our online store where you can save money. All media services, here to help.